Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Lone Rune, the early Elfo demo at least. Uh, it's made by Cuddle Monster Games, the guy who made Hell... Uh, Hell is Other Demons, which is a... It was kind of a roguelike. It was like a platformer roguelike, but it it did it in stages almost kind of arcade style and actually had an ending. But I rather enjoyed it. It had a lovely pixel, a chunky pixel style. And uh, he's gone and made another game. This one's a twin stick shooter, still a roguelike. And uh, it's 3D now, though there's some kind of chunky pixel uh, pixel bits here and there. Anyway, pl play... Oh, I know, we have to be in survival. So let's see how this goes. It looks nice. Uh, let's see. Arcane Barrage. So, Arcane Barrage, Astral Scythe, or Shards. Sharp Crystalline pieces at, uh, pieces at a high rate. Summon projectiles that are released on release and slice enemies at close range. Let's try the Shards. Yeah, that should be fun. Alright, so I got 10 minutes, I gotta dodge, and I guess we're just supposed to live. So is this, um... This might actually... Ooh, okay. So, I might have to be... <laughs> ow. Uh, I might have to be very careful here, as I'm probably going to die. So this is not a bullet heaven. It's definitely a twin stick, sort of bullet hell, give or take. We'll see how it goes. Oh, choose wisely. Upgrade spell, upgrade spell, or heal some HP. Okay. Oh, this is a new one. Kind of? Leave a trail of freezing cooldown floor, extra range, or shorter spell cooldown. Okay, so I can't, I can't dodge while I'm shooting. I'll keep that in mind. So, okay. It, this mode is kind of a survivor's like. Uh, survivor's like a, a bullet heaven. However, uh, I think there is an actual mode where you're exploring and doing some other stuff. You know what? I can get behind that. I, I like the idea of kind of roguelikes having both. I gotta just be careful. Luckily, we get plenty of health here, so it's not so bad. I'm very glad that it actually tells me how long a, of a cooldown I have. For a second, I thought uh, taking damage cost me time, and I got kind of scared by that. Oh... I've got a limited amount of ammo. So spell upgrade or haste increases with lower HP. Now let's keep going spell upgrades. Reduces recharge time. Increases the amount of damage and impact. Shots go straight through. Let's go uh, nimble fingers. I should probably maybe look into damage, but we'll see. Yeah, so very much... I I don't know. I'm digging this. It's, it's very much a... Uh, a bullet heaven except for not. It's a, it's a regular, like, twin stick survival shooter. But, with roguelike upgrades and some level of bullet heaven thrown in. It's just, you know, not actually fighting large quantities of enemies. It's just a handful. Uh, it's just the handful are actually legitimately dangerous as opposed to just a, a quantity that need to be killed. I might also want to invest in some range here. Range and flat damage might be more useful. Boomerang, throw and then press again to recall, or rail. Damaging rail. Wait, how do I, how do I switch? Okay. I don't know how to... Oh, it is right click. There we go. Okay, so it's under a bit of a time limit. Ah, it's fine. I'm curious what that time left, time left thing was. Ooh, enemies are punchy here. And yeah, I can't assume that I'm out of danger. But that's okay. I, I dig this. There we go. Oh, that doesn't do enough damage. Hopefully these things don't disappear for, uh, uh, let's see, disappear after a certain period of time, but I don't entirely know. The other thing is the camera angle's messing with me. A little bit, not too much. But it's definitely one of those where it's a little harder for me to dodge. So, max HP is tempting, but I'm going to keep going for the spell upgrades. So, cold dash, or let's go extra range here. Being able to shoot from farther out seems like a really good idea. Because that means I don't actually have to be up close and personal to womp these dudes. Uh, 
Okay, stay away from you. Okay, this is very quickly becoming a proper bullet heaven. Okay, they do disappear. All right, that is unfortunate for me. Because I'm quickly getting overwhelmed here. I'm very glad I picked the railgun. I wish these guys, when they exploded... Ow. Okay. I wish when they exploded, they would take all of their friends with them. Maybe they do. It's hard to tell. Okay, grab that. Uh, let's see. Increase radius of orbitals. That's interesting. Do more damage after missing a shot. Time left six. I don't know what that means. Is it just for this wave? Oh god. It gets worse. Oh! I can dodge up those? Okay. Get rid of those dudes. Uh, and keep dying. That's the other thing. Ooh, these shooter guys are hemming me in in a bad way. There we go. I don't know. Maybe I should have gone for that pierce upgrade. I didn't need it at first, but now I definitively do. Okay. Grab that. Oh, I am... I am dying. Oh, you shoot him in, in the back. Okay. Uh, let's grab an extra life. Grab those. Ow, 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 ow. Everything, everything sucks. But it's fine. I didn't expect to win my first run. I don't expect to r win most runs. Oh, and you don't come back with a whole lot of HP, do you? Whoo, boy! This got hectic and I'm not strong enough for, it, for that. Well, that's okay. We did decently well. Uh, I gotta take off, uh... I gotta take off my sweatshirt. This is sick. And hard. Okay, uh, let's try that again. I almost am tempted to throw it on easy. Oh, that's refresh. I, I care not for that. Yeah, let's throw it on easy for a round, if I can. So it doesn't seem like there's a meta progression either. Fireball. Explodes on impact. Arcane Barrage. And shards. Let's try the fireball. I definitely really like the idea of a roguelike out. Uh, oh gosh. Easy gives you a lot of health, doesn't it? Uh, level design di is different too. There we go. But roguelikes that actually include a survival mode, much like... Uh, well, I mean, I guess Risk of Rain does the same thing too now that I'm thinking about it. Um, spell upgrade. Oh, I can upgrade my dash. But enemies drop HP more often. I really like a lot of these. The fact that there's upgrades for my spells that don't seem to be based on just like linear scaling across the board or not in the same way as like say uh nomad survivors where you really only have a couple of upgrades uh and or no you have one linear upgrade path there's no there's no choice element mixed in uh comboed with the the fact that i can pick up you know passives and uh, I can modify, you know, one of all four of my my spells. I definitely want to pick up more spells if I can when they show up. Uh, but we'll see. I don't know. I I am impressed. And yeah, the idea of roguelike starting to include these. Oh, I can even mouse over it to see. Ow! I can mouse over it to see its exact statistics and see how it gets affected. That's. All of it's really cool. I, if you haven't seen my channel before, 
Uh, I, I guess my claim to fame is I'm the first person to have made a video on Vampire Survivors. I don't want to say I feel like uh, some kind of ownership over the genre, uh, but I definitely do feel like I'm, well, I'm super into it and rather enjoy it. And so whenever there's like something that's even remotely close, I'm like really big on the idea. Do I want to invest in dash? No. Increase the AoE radius. Increase the AoE damage. Impact damage. Um, nah, I'm going to go for the AoE radi radius. I want to... I want big fireballs. I. This is sick. I can't, I can't wait till we start getting mobbed again. Because I think this is going to have... None of the problems that the previous run did. It'll probably have its own issues, but at least should be able to point and destroy most mobs. There we go. Ah, uh, let's see. What was I going to say? What am I saying? I don't know. I'm just... I'm perpetually excited whenever I see uh, games in, like, a genre evolve in this manner. I... One of my greatest disappointments is I love Slay the Spire. There's only like maybe three or four deck builder roguelikes that are actually wait, three or four. No, there's like 12 that are actually good, but very few of them actually step out from uh, from Slay the Spire's shadow. And that's always been a bit of a shame because like it's such a good genre and has so much potential. But to have it be so homogenous is nothing short of kind of sad. Um... And so, okay, place a blizzard, projectiles all around, or arcane shards. Oh, interesting, so I could actually get two of these. I'm gonna go Nova. I don't know if Nova is the right call. Oh, that's what Nova does. Oh, that's what Nova does. All right, I'm I'm more interested now. The slowdown is a bit of a doozy, but the rest of it is fine. I don't know. Uh, let's see. But so the survivors, uh, the survivors genre, the bullet heaven genre has been nothing short of actually really cool for me. Mostly from the perspective of uh, there's a lot of them with actually really unique ideas getting thrown into the mix. Okay. So, alas. There we go. There we go. Got it. We're doing fine. I'm curious about the, uh, the difficulty adjustments. If it affects enemy HP, or if it's purely just how much health I start with. Be pretty sad if it actually affects how many enemies spawn. Well, that hurt a bit, but it's fine. Yeah, because I'm not missing EXP here. I definitely would say disappearing EXP is kind of brutal. Uh, punishes you for being bad. On the flip side, I guess it's fine. The environments are small. Uh, let's see. Increase AoE effect or increase... I'm, I'm just going to keep pushing that AoE radius. I want to hit the whole damn stage. <laughs> we should absolutely up the uh, AoE damage though if we can currently it only does 50 damage getting it up to 80 would probably go pretty far Woo! those worms are worth it and yeah i should probably upgrade my dodge but i only have so much juice to do so there we go all right uh let's see haste now let's go with this Impact damage, range, or burn. Okay, so the burn might actually be better. I just have to hit enemies. Do they burn to death? No. Bit of a shame, that. But at least it will be good for the bosses. Okay. And it is definitely getting a bit dicier here. Well, if I can get like a multi-projectile, I'm I'm going to be in a good spot. Ow. 
There we go. Get some health back. Be vaguely okay. There we go. Oh, that's like a railgun sniper. I like the enemy variety too. I think the only immediate disappointment I'm working with is the fact that the uh, the runs are only like 10 minutes long. I want to get more upgrades. I want to see how ridiculous I can get. It feels like I got more upgrades on my last run, but I could be wrong. Okay. Uh, more fireball. Are we damage fire rate? Oh, that reduces the cooldown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather have rate of fire here. Missing is probably my biggest issue. Yeah, I like the Nova. Oh, gosh. There we go. Grab that health. Okay, whatever the hell these things are, are freaking punchy. And I'm not quite prepared for them. I, I'm i stuck, or maybe I was looking at the menu. Unfortunately, I... Unfortunately, I am intensely killable at the moment. And I want to get my EXP back. Yeah, I should definitely pump some more points into dash when I get the chance. Whew. Okay, there's another one. I was really hoping... Okay, is that the boss? I have no idea. <laughs> no, there's only two minutes left. I'm down to half a heart, which is big bad. Okay. There we go. Flamethrower, Blizzard. Go Blizzard. Okay. Get another heart. go kind of dying again I just want my exp I wish I was faster whoo there must have been some health in there okay move faster move faster that's actually mega good okay don't die yet there's the health okay oh holy shit ah, I'm dead oh <sighs> I had a minute left let's try that again I I think that was fine. I'm not sure what the difference is between easy, medium, and hard are, but boy, uh, it's not an easy game. What do we have? Chain Lightning! Arcane Shards. I... shit, this is good. I... Chain Lightning sounds like it's going to be a hoot. I'm not sure about this level design here. It might be okay. I don't know. I, I gotta get used to this. I think I might also want to invest a little bit into... Uh, into the dash. That was something I didn't do the last time, and I think I should. I, I do wish this game had you level up a little faster, just because... I want more toys to play with. I think that's generally true of a lot of these games. It's just like, oh, if only I could level up faster. You know, just a couple more upgrades, then I'll be really in business. But, I don't know. Either way, I this is already 
quickly becoming one of my favorite bullet heavens. Like, it's it's weird that the genre's only been around for a couple of months. And... Uh, let's see. Reduce cooldown. Reduces recharge time. I don't know what the differences are between... Uh, cooldown and recharge time. Uh, cooldown is probably between shots, maybe? Maybe. I could be wrong. I, I have no idea. There we go. Let's see, anything else? So is this my level meter? It probably is. We will see. But uh, I don't know. I I think so much of the reason why this system, system, this genre evolves so fast is because it's relatively lightweight. You know, it requires a decent amount of enemy variety and upgrades and stuff. But if you can make that... Uh, if you can make that, that base setup work. Let's grab one of these. Range, cooldown, cold dash. Yeah, let's reduce that cooldown. Having it be 10% faster could... Could be the difference between life and death. I definitely was getting clobbered earlier. I'd say movement speed is probably more valuable. Ow. Walked into that one. Quite literally. Uh, let's see. I like these kind of platforms. I do worry a little bit that they're kind of detrimental to po both me and the enemies. I think it might make more sense in the roguelike mode, the survival mode. Uh, you know, I kind of want to just be able to hit all enemies more or less simultaneously. But it's okay. Yeah, we definitely want to see if I can get a little bit more damage. I think this gun's not going to start shining until we're actually fighting everything at once. Uh, we will see. Yeah, I might also want to invest a little bit into range. Uh, hopefully that includes chain chain range. Astral Scythe, close range, Blizzard, or Nova? Uh, let's go for the Blizzard. Oh, it's right click now. Now, the Blizzard doesn't seem to do damage, but it does slow enemies down. I think. Oh, interesting. I seem to have, like, a EXP debt that I have to pay off. I wonder... I wonder if that's a bug. Yeah, because I don't level up until this starts going back up into the positives. I... I wonder why it went into the negative. There we go. Yeah, I just kind of need these guys to be close together, otherwise I can't chain lightning between them. Oh, that's okay. Extra life. Spawn orbitals on kill. Okay, chain lightning's definitely good for the suicide buggers. Oh, oh boy. Oh no. Ah, disappeared. I fell into the wall. It is early alpha though. I can forgive a lot. Especially if the game remains quite fun. Alright, that pillar went down quick. Oh, and I know I can invest in orbital radius. That's something to keep in mind. There we go. Grab those. Uh, I need to invest more into lightning. More jump damage. Let's 
reduce the recharge time. There we go, because the faster I can fire these out. We definitely want to invest in range. And like, maybe a bit in damage? I wonder if you can have chains jump back. I don't think so. But maybe that's fine. Okay, skip that. Uh, let's see. All player healing is doubled. Boy, some of these passives are obscenely good. Okay, grab that. Hit the worm. Delete that. Grab those. But yeah, doubled healing. Oh, that's going to make the heart, heart pickups that much better. Okay, that's the rail gunner again. Here's the thing. I can kind of work with that. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to assume sometimes when you level up and get an ability or something, it puts you into debt. Oh, maybe abilities are just more expensive, so it slows down your leveling. Could be it. I'm not entirely I'm not entirely sure. I know nothing about this game and how it's supposed to work. Um but it feels like the negative is wrong. And so I'm just going to be slightly fixated on it because I'm not sure why. Uh, let's see. Astral Scythe Barrier. Massive Ice Wall. Yeah. There we go. That works. Ah. Lost a little bit of EXP. There we go. Looks like I can just pick him up. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Keep avoiding. Yeah, the ice wall actually works really well. Oh, boy. Oh, he ate all of my orbitals. So that, that hurt. But it worked out. Yeah, he was going for the stomp. Yeah, it doesn't look like the blizzard does any damage. It'd be interesting to try and do two weapons akimbo, but I level so slowly it's hard to decide whether or not that's strictly worth it. Yeah, because I can shoot through the wall. Okay, move faster. Damage increases up to 300% with lower HP. Sharp blood. Oh, that faster move speed, but sharp blood though. Like a flat damage bonus based on how dire my circumstances are. It sounds actually really attractive to me at the moment. Because I know there's a certain point where I tend to get kind of Womped here. And so having active countermeasures to that kind of thing. Not a bad idea. Okay. I think I got it. Hard to tell. Boy, if there's a magnet radius, I will be happy to pick it up. Okay, grab it all. Uh, let's see. Spell upgrade, maximum damage on impact, more damage or fire rate. Eh. All of that EXP lost to the ether. I mean, it's probably fine. There he goes. There we. Oh, gosh. Wow, that was a chunker. 
Okay, I'm gonna just keep investing in this. Chain jumps more. Yes. Especially because now I'm starting to get overwhelmed. And it seems like it would be really good. There we go. Wow. That whole bonus damage on low HP is upsettingly strong. I think haunting the staircase is kind of the right call. Oh! I say that as I eat an explosive man. Ah, uh, I gotta go for the health. Whoa! That was a bigger heal than I thought it was going to be. Alright. I am very happy with the set of upgrades that I have accrued for myself today. I still wish I'd level up a little bit more, but we got it. Rank 5. Nice. Okay, do we do one more? I think we'll do one more. I'll bump it up, bump up the difficulty. I think that mostly just affects how much HP I have, but I could be wrong. Okay, hold to summon projectiles. Hmm. That'll be interesting. I don't know if this one's going to be any good. There we go. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, I wonder if hard mode is just effectively more mode. You know, the harder the difficulty, the more enemies with the more levels. And... Because it certainly feels like I might level faster on this mode. I could be quite wrong. That said, I think... Oh, his spells. That's interesting. So you can take a look at it. Set up controls. Everything else is good. I'm going to exit out to title. I don't think I'm going to use this weapon. Uh, not for my last run. It seems interesting, but also kind of risky. So I could try Astral Scythe for close range? Yeah, let's try the Astral Scythe. Oh, that's going to get me killed. Okay, so it does destroy enemy projectiles. So maybe it's not going to get me killed. I don't know, but it sounds interesting enough that I want to give it a shot. There we go. All right. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, Lone Rune is available on Steam. Uh, it's not to buy, but you can download the demo yourselves at a, ahead of the Steam Next Fest. Uh, supposedly it's coming out sometime this year. I don't know. Uh, I never know when with that kind of thing. It certainly feels pretty feature complete. I, baseline, yeah, okay, I think I'm just going to die with this. Uh, let's keep pushing it anyway. Maybe we'll do another run if I die really quickly on this one. Um, but it's like Brotato. It feels pretty feature complete already. It just needs more content. And, uh, you know, time in the oven, some big bug fixing, clears, clearly some balance. I should have gone fireball. Yeah, I'm just going to die. I think eventually... Or with the right upgrades, melee could get really, really stinky good. There we go. If you could parry enemies out of the air, oh, that'd be good. Either way, uh, I don't know. I think this is great, and I can't wait to see more of it. It's got a lot of what I like from the the uh, from the bullet heaven genre, but with actual, I'm gonna say actual standard roguelike accoutrements. You know, the enemies are more than just... Oh, yeah, we are super... We are super donked. Maybe? Maybe that, that extra movement speed is actually going to be everything that I need to survive. I just want some upgrades on the weapon. So I can actually do something about it. But yeah, I might actually just go fast enough that the melee buggers can't hit me anymore. I just, Okay, we're still in the game. I am shocked. We're in the game for a bit, at least. And the big problem is uh, my cooldowns are bad, so we'll see what happens. Uh, but I don't know. I, as far as demos to look out for, this one already ranks pretty dang high. 
and I'm probably going to put more time into this. I, I don't know. I, I'll get in contact with the dev and have him let me know. Yeah, I'm going to get clobbered here. Grab the fireball, but it's it's kind of late for the fireball. You know what? Kill me. We want to do one more run. And I want it to be a run with some chops. I, I think melee will probably be great for some people, not for me. Okay, well, we're going to extend this a little further. Do we try hard mode? Uh, let's find out. How much HP do I have on hard? Three. Yeah, that would be the that'd be it. Ooh, and we can start with the railgun. Let's do that. It's got a long cooldown, but it does have strike through and decent damage. So if I can get that cooldown to be shorter, I think we'll be in a good spot. But if I can't, I don't know. I was hoping it would do enough damage that I could just clobber multiple of these guys. Well, we will see. I've only got 3 HP for this, which is uh, nothing short of incredibly problematic. <laughs> uh, player healing is doubled. Get money for taking damage. Oh. Both of those are going to be great, but I got to go for... Got to go for this. I'm really curious about the, uh, the actual roguelike mode once that gets added. But I might actually prefer the survivor's mode. That's that's always a toughie. There we go. I'm trying to heal. Whew. Uh, chance to explode enemies on kill or haste on kill. Now let's go for ignite. Whatever that chance is, it's lower than I'd like it to be. Okay, do we try another one? Yeah, let's go. I think the railgun needs a l more damage or a uh, a better cooldown. All right, so let's try hard survival. It feels like the uh, the chain lightning and the fireball are by and far the best, at least at the moment. Ooh, rough level design though. I'm gonna. Eh, I guess if I'm up here, it's not so bad. There's going to be a lower area that I'll have to check occasionally. And obviously we want to focus AoE, but yeah, this this feels this feels right. Or at least right adjacent. I don't know. Anyway, oh gosh, what am I even saying? Words and things. I was like kind of trying to do an outro and then I, you know, decided I wanted more. Explode enemies on kill. Let's go with that. Might as well have everything kind of cascade death. Because the fireball doesn't do that much damage. There we go. I'm also a lot more accurate now, which I think is pretty good. We. Perfect. Yeah, so. Ice orbitals, kind of tempting, pretty good. AoE radius is probably the most useful. Fire rate will be good. I don't know about the burn. The burn seems kind of just okay. Come for me, Gooners. I've got the big gun now. Super satisfying being able to just delete whole crews. I think I'll probably want to buff up the actual AoE damage so it does some da uh so it can clear some dudes. But still. So the only things I think this game really needs is a reroll. You know, it's like, I don't really like this option, being able to back out on that. Because I know there's a number of these secondary weapons that I might not... Mm, I might not want, but in this case, I think I'm going to. Black Hole is going to be incredibly good with the Fireball, and it lasts... I can... I have effectively 100% uptime on it. It doesn't do much damage. It doesn't need to. It just needs to pull them in. Holy shit, this got even better. Okay, so they can jump out of that, kind of, but... 
It ain't that effective. So range AOE radius. Let's keep pushing that. I'll upgrade the black hole whenever I can. Okay, keep blasting these suckers. Okay. Avoid that. Get some health. I definitely could use some max HP here. If and when I get the chance. Okay, pop that. Stay cozy. Ow, take a bunch of damage. Okay, uh... Damage on impact, reduce cooldown, increase radius. Like, reducing the cooldown would be nice, but it has pretty much 100% uptime to begin with. So it's way more effect, way more useful if it actu actually can grab enemies. Oh, I'm, I am dying, though. I think hard mode might uh, live up to its name. My problem is the couple of enemies that are not pulled in by the black hole are uh, kind of dire for me. And yeah, I definitely could use the movement speed upgrade if we see it go by. Alright. Another black hole upgrade? Yes. And what I want is attraction force. If I can get it. Oh, that's the other issue with the black hole. Uh, for the melee guys, I'm just going to be diagnosing this a little bit. It actually pulls them closer to me temporarily. So I have to be, I have to kind of preempt them. Otherwise, I give them free access to my face. Okay, supernova, flamethrower, or heal. Okay, flamethrower seems kind of fun. Whoops. Ow, 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 ow. Alright. Flamethrower seems kind of banger. Only immediate problem is, like everything else, it slows me down. Which is a problem. Okay, get rid of that pillar. Have plenty of HP. Lazy heal. Enemies are near Sten. Still to heal up to 15. I have no idea how that would even work, but I think it would be bad. Uh... Let's do fire rate. Holy smokes. That demolished them. Oh, but I walked into a bomb and died. Ah, oh, man. The black hole fireball combo is incredible. Okay, so it looks like, by the way, uh, hard mode might actually just be more enemies and less health. So you have the potential to do even better, especially because you get more and more points. So the leaderboards are all... I, I think the leaderboard should be maybe separated based on difficulty to some degree, just because. Uh, what, what's the point of even having leaderboards if the hard... Uh, leader, combined leaderboards, what's the point of playing easy if only the hard mode people are going to actually have a rank? Not that it matters too much. Either way, incredibly good game. I can't wait to play more of this. It definitely needs some time in the oven, definitely needs some balance pass, patches. Personally, I think you still need to level up a little faster, considering... But maybe the survival runs will get a little longer in the future, too. I just want to see where my build goes, and it always feels like the run ends just a little too soon. But either way, uh, like I was saying earlier, you can download the Lone Rune Alpha Demo, early Alpha Demo, on Steam now and play it yourselves before the next fest and during the next fest. And if you do, or if you just like the game in general, hit uh, go and wishlist it on Steam. It makes it rank higher. Which helps the developer, uh, you know, rank rank higher as well on Steam. Sells more, develops further, better game. That makes sense. Either way, I, I'm super stoked for this and I can't wait to play more and I'm going to go gush about it everywhere else. 
Uh, so for now at least, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.